Hi guys, it's Laura and welcome back to my channel. I know that this May post is very late and while people are probably already posting June theme, I am just now on a May spread and it's horrible, I know, but I have something really, really special for June and that's why like, I just posted week one and discover page and playlist page and I don't know, I'm just really preparing, to be honest, for June. Okay, back to the main theme. So, as I said, I wanted to do this newspaper theme, but then I, again, I didn't have exactly materials and stuff printed out. So, I went for the stuff that I already had in my collection. And I saw that I had these beautiful music sheet notes in my collection and Generally, I wanted to use them for scrapbooking, but I also didn't know what to do with them and I haven't used it before and I just hate when stickers or something go to waste because you don't get the opportunity to use them. So I kind of tried to make some spreads with this uh, music sheet notes and I don't know, the, the theme just wrote itself, I guess, made itself. And I'm pretty satisfied because it is still vintage, it is, it is still me. I just, it's not something that I have pre-planned. So as you can see, this cover page is basically those notes and a little transparent rose and also washi tapes. And it's very minimal, simple, but I love it. And I'm also using the new stamps, letter stamps that I bought to myself and I knew this, these would be perfect for this opportunity because they remind me of those like typewriter letters. On the other side, I am just making a little calendar. It doesn't exactly have a purpose. The only purpose is that it's aesthetically pleasing. And I am again using the same, the same paper as in music sheets. It's different, it's a bit different color this time but I thought that they would look great together because they're very similar and that's why it would be very cohesive. If you already saw a couple of my plan with me videos, you know that I lately love to use this lace washi tape, so of course I'm using it here. It is perfect for this aesthetic and honestly, wherever I will have a chance to use it, believe me, I am going to. I was actually considering whether to tell you or not about my June spreads, but I decided to actually like warn you because I'm not sure that like every single person will want to stick with the theme that is gonna be happening in June and that theme is going to be BTS theme and I am actually very excited because I have been a fan for like four years and I thought about making a long video a video about my love for them, like who is my bias, who was my bias, what was my first song, what are my feelings for BTS and I really wanted to go in depth with the video but also it is a very special month for me and all of the army because it is a BTS comeback and also it is BTS Festa because this month is like their anniversary month so of course it is very special for me and the new album is coming, so I don't know, I really wanted to talk about BTS here and I think that June as planned with me video is going to be perfect but of course I will not forget about my vintage theme in general and I will make, like, I will probably, you know, print out pictures of them but it will definitely be, everything will be...
a different type of style of editing because I didn't want to speed up the video because in previous videos when there was something like cutting or when, when I was writing out letters, I really like sped up the video but now I didn't want to do that because I thought that it would be better if the video itself was just more relaxing and of course I like cut out some parts where, which were too slow or boring but I really didn't want to speed it up more than I had to so that you would find it nice and relaxing to watch I also feel like I kind of should use a bit more quotes in my spreads because I do love especially writing poetry but I also do love reading poetry or reading inspirational words so I think that maybe if I included a bit more words in my uh, spreads that would be also very personal but I just sometimes don't know how to incorporate it and I'm very like anxious when it comes to like calligraphy. I do love it. I love I love doing it, but I I don't like pre-planning it actually. I love to just write it out and then see what happens. But I don't know if, when you want to make amazing text design, I think you should kind of pre-plan it so that it wouldn't look look lousy or like the text would go all around but it would look more cohesive and i don't know i'm very anxious about it but maybe i should give it a shot next time maybe make some type of quote page that would be very interesting actually yeah now that i said it out loud i think that i gave myself a challenge because i believe that for the next theme so bts theme i can choose a song that i like from them and maybe write down like English or even Korean lyric because I think that that would be very meaningful to me because I, I do love like reading lyrics of their songs and just think about that but of course I'm going to tell you more about this in the next video but definitely now I think that I am going to make you a promise that I'm going to create a quote page and it will be with like either something that a member of bts like whoever said but also maybe just a simple quote from a song we are moving on to playlist page and first weekly and it's always so funny when like the first or last days and months when it's just like sunday or it's just monday and then it's only one day so it's kind of interesting to create spreads that basically like just take one day to make and i usually go for like a whole page dedicated to that day and that's why like i created on the right side a whole page just for the first day of may I'm also continuing with the flowers I think they look pretty great with this vintage theme and I don't know I just went with the flow here I didn't pre-plan much on this page and it also turned out okay like it's not one of my fav most favorite spreads but it's not bad and I also used a golden pen later so you will see and I think that the gold and golden stuff like pens or even washi tapes really add on a vintage vibe so if you're like trying to think of think about what can be vintagey then definitely go for gold here i am again using this stamp letters i am going to use them a lot in this theme just because i they're very cute and i think as i said before that they really soothe this theme this topic also the thing about being so late it is bad because of youtube algorithm and the video itself yeah but it is also bad because i am not like i haven't written anything about in my planner when it comes to the fifth month so i haven't written out anything about my days and that is making me feel quite bad because I don't, I don't actually like to leave my 
journal blank then when I don't like when I miss writing what I do instead is like pick a day pick a time and then just write down everything from the previous day days that I forgot to write so now this is going to be 14 days so like two weeks of writing what happens to me so I don't know I better have a good memory or something because it's going to be very interesting I'm going to try to remember as much as I can I'm going to maybe consult my photos to see what I was doing because I don't like to you know have my journal just blank and as always the rest of the spreads are going to be posted on my Instagram as reels and as photos and it's really fun to create like it's fun to create YouTube videos for sure but it's also so cool to create reels because they you know, I can at least like use a popular music that is that is not gonna have anything to do with copyright and it's short it can be very fun so I really have a lot of fun and creativity creating reels on Instagram. I would be so thankful if you checked out my Instagram, which is going to be linked in the description, of course. But I don't know, like, it's all up to you. And I really hope that you like this video, that you like what I'm talking about, and that you like listening to me. That means so much to me. I hope I will see you soon in my June spread or even July spread, but nevertheless have a great day and thank you so much for coming to the end of this video and watching. It is time for the final clip through and that is it for now. Bye guys!